side of Mansfield. I mean, uh, being able to keep that pressure up is definitely putting MWSU Griffins. Uh, on, well, well, I guess we'll Let's just go, go ahead and, and take that statement away. But MWSU Griffins going to be able to go ahead and knock it past Vice. And MK with an Let's amazing follow-up there, scoring for the side of MWSU Griffins. With, them get, with the game only having a minute and 47 seconds left, MWSU easily bringing this game back that winning goal. Oh, oh, As and it's close. That, Let's go. A score by Chura and assist by Ox. Everything I say tonight will just go ahead and be countered by the way MWSU Griffins. We coming Griffins. back. We coming back. We see MWSU working <laughs> together to get these in there. They knew that they had their time. They knew they had their shot. Right now with a minute and 40 seconds remaining, we are not backing down yet. Even for the first round, we will put up a battle. The team doesn't have a chance to put up a fight just for that win. But it looks like we oh, are close. Oh, the ball's stuck and in a stand still. Chura. Chura. Going to be able to go ahead and knock that goal in. This down at least oh, until the game's over kick with. Kickoff there coming in from the side of I see both teams, I do believe. And another oh, score MK's by MK. go ahead and close the game out. Zero uh, in this match with about a minute and 57 seconds to go. So uh, MK going to be able to go ahead and find himself on the side of Mansfield, but not making any connection with the ball here. Here we go. Can Ox go ahead and execute? It looks the goal's like it goes left in. open, and MWSU Let's will go. go ahead and score. You know, as I said, uh, both teams are both 2-1. and one. And a kickoff goal coming in from Chura. Head and score three times. Who knows? Of course, uh, usually not over till it's over. Ball and is not going to make score. contact with anyone. And it will go ahead and bounce off MK and go in. Planted. So he managed to go ahead. Uh, Vice managing to go ahead and plant himself uh, in the good position there. But Vice not being able to go ahead and reposition himself. Able to bring it over with a straight shot to the goal. And a follow-up by another MK. And a score with an assist by Ox. So left side, but looks like it is taken back over to Mansfield's side with a demolition Ooh, on Chura, but a score by Ox with an assist by Chura, even though he was demoed. Yeah, that's a good spread at the moment, but here, oh, another close goal Beautiful by defense on the side of Mansfield, as we can see, but and Chura going to be able to go ahead and put pressure there with everybody probably running out of boost and not being able to go ahead uh, and reset themselves here. Your phone and the microphone can go ahead and pick you up. Brock, you just played uh, an amazing series. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. That was uh, definitely a tough one, uh, mm -hmm. I would say. I mean, obviously, you know, the game wasn't uh, – or the series wasn't a full uh, clean sweep. Uh, but how do you feel after that game? Uh, good. It started off bad, but – we figured it out. Okay, and, uh, why do you think it, now. why do you think it started off bad? Uh, we always start bad. It's like our <laughs> thing. We are we're always bad game one, and uh, we just figured it out before game one ended, and got game one, and then yeah. Right. So, what exactly were you guys thinking? Like, what 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 do you think the issue was in the beginning, and then what made you guys play more uh, in a synergized comp? Oh, definitely the music. I was listening to bad music. I had to change the playlist up. Once the playlist got fixed, we were fine. Sure. No, right. um, I think that we were just we were just a little rusty game one. We usually are like that. We just had to figure out how to play them. And once we just started passing, we were fine after that. Started so. passing. So when you guys did you guys decide to play more passive, more aggressive? I noticed that uh, you were a lot uh, of the time being uh, a lot uh, more aggressive. Ox was definitely playing in the back. And, my, and you know, what it seems like to me is that Ox was definitely lining up these shots for you and M uh, you and MK to go ahead uh, and capitalize on uh, to yeah. try and, uh, you know, get into the goal. I mean, uh, obviously, uh, with the way that went, uh, we are uh, slowly getting into uh, our Overwatch game here. So, uh, Brock, overall, how do you think you feel? What future hopes do you have going on uh, in your head right now about how the season's going to go ahead and go? Because right now, I believe you guys are three and one now. Yep. So, how are you feeling about um, that? Feeling good. We will. The way it's like set up is you play someone with the same record as you. So next week we'll be playing a team with a three and one record. So you just want to keep playing the better, better teams, and then by the end of the the season you'll be playing the seven and one teams and all the really good teams play before playoffs start, and then hopefully we. Well, we're going to have a push coming in from MWSU, trying to see who's going to go ahead and go down first and already uh, have pressure uh, on top of them. And this, it seems that they are going to go ahead and push Nazgul out. Two kills, three kills already on the yes. side. Four already on the side of MWSU. They are going to go ahead and have full control of that point of MWSU. Oh, yeah. So we're definitely in store for winning uh, oh, probably the next goodness. one or two fights. So uh, this is going to be massive. Very, it seems that we are already going to go ahead wow. uh, and have a one fight there. Up but it's going to be a little hard for them. Gunner455 oh, is absolutely in the back line of Nazgold, getting pick after pick after pick, just destroying the back line one after oh, another. Oh, man. And he is doing absolutely amazing on the Doomfist. So Gunner455. Oh, nice what pick. an amazing shot. Nice a pick. double. Oh, can he go ahead for and the find gym. the other kill? He, he finds the, the triple. He gets four. The quadra. Oh, nerf the carrot. <laughs> oh, my oh man. Another headshot. He is getting another. another. <laughs> another. Oh, man. 
I'm um, waiting for the day we go ahead and oh, see uh, what Gunner 455 oh, is on the flank right now. He is absolutely just Three. in their back go ahead line. And find that, was a, that was quite the play there coming in. Maybe seeing a oh, little bit of Gunner. a battle mercy. Gunner uh, is going to get two picks here early with his pack advisor, and he's going to be looking at that. Oh, oh that was a what a very So fighting two kills. It seems that Nazgul is going to go ahead and go down here. Point is contested by one, but a team kill onto the side of MWSU. Duff has his ulti, but he might actually try and save it here. Let's see here. Oh, it does Good seem that he's gonna already going to go ahead and grab two. Can he find more? He does have that ulti up. He's going to go ahead and find wow. one more. Triple kill. What did you, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and start from the beginning. Uh, what did you expect coming uh, going into that game tonight? You know, I expected uh, this to be a little rocky to start off. That seems to be kind of how we play if you look back through our games. Mm -hmm. We, uh, we kind of suss out the other team to see how they are uh, at first, and then we kind of figure them out and go in with any knowledge we can piece together, and mm -hmm. that's kind of the whole strategy with it. Right. Uh, today ended up being a really good game. We... Uh, we had a little bit of uh, technical problems, and I'll take my part of the blame for that. Yeah, as well. I was, definitely, you know, I was like, wait a minute, they just played quick play. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how that wound up getting in the settings, but uh, right. outside of that, I think I think the team played really well. I think they're starting mm -hmm. to synergize really well together. We know our strengths and we know our weaknesses. And right. We're really leaning into that. Yeah, sure. So uh, definitely different from last week, I would say. I would say so. Yeah, yeah, and so like, what have you guys really been working on? Like, what what was like the main issue? Do you think? I think one of the main issues is just kind of keeping the team together, mm -hmm. uh, staying grouped up, staying playing as a team, and kind of understanding that uh, in, in in the live game in ranked, yeah, you can't you can't really rely on your team yeah. uh, every time to do what you want to do because they may have their own kind yeah. of, they may have their own ideas and with. Uh, with with this, it's like we're finally getting to the point of people understanding that they can trust their team yeah. and that we will follow through and the rest of the team will follow through and support them in just about any crazy play they want to make. Right. You know, definitely one thing I noticed is that uh, as we were, uh, you know, last week, I, look, a lot has changed since last week. This game was a lot more cleaner, honestly, in my opinion. So um, definitely, you know, one thing I think I noticed was like the spacing between the teams too. Yeah. Like the tank would actually be up too far or the healers would be too far back up. Definitely a change. Mm -hmm. And it's definitely improved. It has definitely opinion. improved. They have so, leaps and bounds. Yeah. So, uh, what kind of hopes do you have for the future here? What are you What are you looking for? I guess we'll end off the stream with that question. You know, I we we're kind of in a rebuilding stage mm -hmm. uh, with with the program right now. Well, with our with our team right now. After uh, after last semester, half the team leaving in one way or the mm -hmm. other. So, uh, I think the team is just going to keep keep synergizing more and more. Uh, we're going to keep getting a deep understanding of the game and I think we're gonna come out of this semester with uh, with a roster of players who are ready to contend with anybody else uh, tough to go ahead and get her away but Amon will go ahead and take out oh what is happening here they're letting Trundle go ahead and get away with the kills that is a lot of damage actually coming in from Straw Hat Luffy and that damage should not exist can Zeph will go ahead and survive here we go this is what I was talking about Soul Requiem unfortunately accidentally over pushing and putting himself in a uh, harder position there to go ahead and try and take out Amon go ahead and fight back but Straw Hat Luffy can't seem to find his way around and oh my gosh the damage coming Let's in from go. Straw Hat Luffy Stry Luffy, can he make it out of that Victor ulti? That Victor ulti is doing a lot of damage. Oh, a double root coming in from MWSU and a great team fight as well. But unfortunately, Zephyr is going to go ahead and get taken out. Can Ammon go ahead and survive this? Could go a Dark Ice Swims and Rage Crystal. Oh my and gosh, actually. And a shutdown. I Ammon. believe that was a double kill right there. Let's go. Good job, but coming in from Straw Hat Luffy. Straw Hat Luffy's going to make his way out of the fight. Soul Requiem at one damage. Ammon going to go ahead and find one kill. Can he find another? There's a double kill over to Amon. What a good fight. The team composition and synergy on MWSU seems to be winning them fights. Another late early game, but 
Straw Hat Luffy managed to go ahead and know that they're in this push. Ammon in the back line. They don't realize Ammon. There's going to be a one fight on the side of MWSU. You can already tell. Let's go. Three kills already going towards MWSU. Grim 26 to 17. That MWSU will go ahead and take out the Nexus and take the first game in the best of three series of set. Taking that damage. You got to watch out for that white bar. Uh, on the bottom of Sucks Health. Oh, what a snipe coming in from MWSU. But here comes the Volley Bear. Ammon gonna get slowly taken out here. Man, that Volley Bear does a lot of damage. He's actually gonna go ahead and get uh, rooted here. Oh my God, a double kill. But here comes the Volley Bear. Can they get the last auto attack off the stun reflected here? Ammon gotta try and last hit that double kill. Over on to oh my god, and oh, what a devastating combo! Triple kill over to Ammon. He's five and oh. See a set ultimate here. And it looks like they're there all being goes. cornered. They're gonna be in the middle oh, of this. But the turnaround oh. with Dark Ice Flames ulti. Unfortunately, set has to try and get out. Set get take uh, gets taken out by Ammon. Game two is actually gonna go ahead and go towards Albany three. We will go ahead and see a game. Three agent crisis get taken away here. Oh, big, uh, big abilities. A lot of stuns. Let's on go. Rage crisis there. I thought rage crisis um, actually got all the CC to be taken away, but here we go. First tower is actually going to go uh, on top of Ammon here. Ammon's going to be able to go ahead and find one kill. Can he find the next kill? He's going to be able to go ahead and roll forward, and he's going to go ahead and get a double kill coming in from Elf Vamp there. Oh man, that third uh, ability is going to go ahead and get proc there. Oh my gosh, a 2v1 in the mid lane from Ammon. Here we go, Ammon might actually get uh -oh. caught out here. Here we go, Dang, can Ammon outplay this? Here we go, Ammon's gonna go ahead and grab Let's one. Go. Can he grab another? Ammon's gonna grab a double kill. Ammon is do. a guy. <laughs> That's me being clueless and you being the person that oh, told me man. they got oh, served. Oh, it seems that way. Here comes the Orn ulti. Another good stun coming in from Dark Ice Swims to line it up. A double kill coming in from Ammon. A triple. Can MWSU end the game? Dark Ice Swims doing a lot of damage here. This has probably been one of the fastest let us go! MWSU is rocking this! Sure, Zephin, how are you feeling? That was definitely a wild roller coaster, as we saw uh, um, in there. We definitely had the spread of games. Yeah. Um, from long to short, victory to losses, uh, but. I think we ended up, we figured it out by the last game uh, consistently. Okay. Sure, and uh, curious question, I mean, you guys uh, had a good first game, uh, maybe a little bit more equal on both ends, and then that's, uh, what seemed to be is that that second game, you guys kind of like had that huge lead, but then what happened is I believe the terms would be like, they scaled, what, what kind of happened it to that It definitely, it, it drug out. Their comp was a lot better with what they're trying to do late game. I mean, sure. with just even a few champions on there that really make it more difficult. And that's actually, we're just like, all right, if you're going to have that late game scaling, we'll play for that late game scaling too. Granted, that game didn't last into the late game, but <laughs> right. but uh, that comp that we had was supposed to be a little better for um, if it got that late. Sure, and then what did you guys change in that third game? Like, what did you notice what was wrong? Like, what kind of made you guys win so fast in that late game? What do you, or in that last game? What do you think uh, well, happened there to grab that win? I think that that's right, a little bit of cough. No, that's right. Um, I, I, with that second game, it just kind of felt like we didn't close it out when mm -hmm. we were supposed to, and then that's when they just scaled out through the roof from that. Um, okay. I think that last game we were a lot more diligent with where we were when something was on the map. We were already like, okay, we have this massive pressure. We're just gonna keep snowballing. We're not gonna go for um, uh, a play that stops us from getting the objectives. Sure. And stuff like that. Okay, sure. Yeah, no, that was awesome. That was definitely uh, one of the fastest matches that you guys have had. Uh, so, uh, for last remarks, I suppose, what do you guys hope for the future? What are you guys looking at uh, to improve on? What do you guys, where do you see the future? Where do you guys stand in the future? Well, um, the big thing is working on consistency with it. Okay. As you saw with that spread of games. Right. Um, we have a, when we get going into our thing, we do a great job with it. We're yep. just... Our, well, we, I, and I think we're, we're coming back into it now as the season goes on of building it so we're going we make the other team play into our play style more okay sure yeah no that's awesome